If you can believe it, Wendy's two reworks are now a year old, everyone. And that's just nuts to think about. But you know what? I think we've still got something to cover even after all this time. Pip spooks, everyone. How do they work? Do they actually matter to other characters? And is there actually a way to quote-unquote farm these little guys? Let's discuss. And let's start with two facts here. Number one, what you just saw is actually impossible, as pip spooks won't spawn if there are other pip spooks already nearby. And two, said spawning of a pip spook only has a 5% chance to actually occur around any character. And, well, I suppose number three, since I can't actually count apparently, yes, any character can encounter these little guys as they're playing normally. However, all they do for anyone besides Wendy is drain their sanity. But speaking of, for every Wendy that is on the server, the chance for a pip spook to spawn increases by 5%, even if said Wendy's aren't even near you or other Wendy's or any other graves. Ah, but we gotta stop here, because it can't just be any grave, mind you. There must be a headstone in order for a pip spook to spawn. So the graveyard biome within the mosaic is a pretty good place to disturb the dead, I suppose. But our forest biomes could actually be a fine resting place for the cute ghost too. And heck, even graves found in the caves can spawn these little guys. In fact, the labyrinth might be the best place to quote unquote farm pit spooks. But more on that later. Cause let's address something. Yes, pit spooks could really just seem like a pointless mob to many as they seemingly just spawn in and almost never despawn, even when you literally leave the screen or when a couple days passed. But that's really because the floating orbs of death are just in need of assistance, everyone. They're sad, they want their toys to move on. So Wendy players can actually click on Pip Spooks to begin a ghostly scavenger hunt for their toys. And here's a tip, follow the leader. I hear a lot of people who still don't understand how to locate lost toys without just running about like a maniac. But it is very simple, as all we gotta do is literally watch a Pip Spook's movement. I advise you stop in place for a second now and then, and a Pip Spook will just literally float in the direction you need to go. Then, the pulse above their head will indicate just how close you are to said lost toys. And once you do happen to find them, you will be rewarded with morning glory. Now, Pip Spooks usually have us find three to five toys before they can move on. And the last one found will always drop four morning glories for our pleasure. Good stuff. But what the heck is this used for? Well, for anyone besides Wendy, they are absolutely worthless. However, they are absolutely essential for Wendy's ectoherbology and ghostly elixirs here. We can make revenant restoratives or spectral cure-alls to help heal Abby over time. Unyielding droughts and or a distilled vengeance now and then will extend slash aid Abby's shields. Vigor Mortis will speed her up and Nightshade Nostrum will grant her nighttime damage at all times. Now most last for a day. And heck, Morning Glory is now also needed to make more of Abigail's flower if you happen to lose it. So make notes. But before we look to wrap up already, I would like to point out a potential easy source of Morning Glory. The Labyrinth. While Pip Spook spawns are limited to one in very close proximity to us most of the time, they still are potentially daily opportunities, especially with more Wendy's in the server. So then, if we happen to couple that with a rework change that made it so toy spawns are really close to one another now, a ghastly treasure hunt within the labyrinth on occasion could be a really super duper quick way to nab several glories. Just a thought, give it a whirl. But there you have it everyone, a super quick guide on pip spooks within Don't Starve Together. I continuously saw people misunderstanding them and their potential, so I hope this finally clears all that up. But thanks for watching folks, well wishes to all, let the dead rest, and I'll see ya in the next one. Bye bye.